Hey guys, let's go learn some calculus. The average rate of change of a function over an interval is the amount of change divided by the interval. The average rate of change is also the slope of the secant line. The slope of the secant line is FB minus FA all over B minus A. Let's try a practice problem. Find the average rate of change of f of x equals x squared minus 2 over the interval 2, 5. Solve the function for both endpoints of the interval 2 and 5. f2 equals 2 squared minus 2, which equals 2. f5 equals 5 squared minus 2, which equals 23. Use slope of secant equation Fill with values of endpoint coordinates on the interval. So, you do f5 minus f2 all over 5 minus 2. That equals 23 minus 2 all over 5 minus 2, which comes out to 7. The average rate of change is 7. The instantaneous rate of change, or derivative of function, tells us the rate of change of one quantity compared to another at an instant or point. V equals the limit if the change in T as it approaches zero, the change in S over the change in T. This expression describes S, which is displacement, in terms of time, the velocity at any particular instant T. V equals the limit as H approaches zero, f t plus h minus f t all over h. h is substituted for the change in t. An object falling from rest has displacement s in centimeters. s equals 490 t squared, where t is in seconds. What is the velocity when t equals 10 seconds? Here's how you do this problem. The velocity equals the limit as h approaches zero, ft plus h minus ft all over h. Therefore, the limit as h approaches zero is 490 multiplied by t plus h squared minus 490t squared all over h. Now, here's how you simplify. v equals the limit as h approaches zero, 490 multiplied by t squared plus 2ht plus h squared minus 490t squared all over h. The limit as h approaches 0 then is 490 multiplied by 2ht plus h squared all over h. After we simplify further by taking the h out of the bottom, we get that the limit of h approaching 0 is 490 multiplied by 2t plus h. Velocity equals 980t when t is greater than or equal to 0. When t equals 10 seconds, substitute in the 10 for the t. So that's v equals 980 times 10. This is 98 meters per second. The definition of derivatives is the derivative of the function f with respect to the variable x in the function f prime whose value at a is f prime of x equals limit as h approaches zero f of x plus h minus f of x all over h provided the limit exists. If f prime exists, function f has a derivative at x. The alternate definition of derivative is function f at x equals a equals f prime a equals limit as x approaches a f of x minus f of a all over x minus a. The derivative is the slope of the tangent at point a. One-sided derivatives. A function y equals f of x is differentiable on a closed interval a, b if it has a derivative at every interior point of an interval and if the limit has a right-hand derivative at A and a left-hand derivative at B 
and they exist at the endpoints. Finding equation of tangent lines. Recall point slope formula. Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. Slope M is the derivative of function F prime of X1. Find the tangent line at 2, 4 on Y equals X squared. Plug in point slope form. Y minus 4 equals M multiplied by X minus 2. We need to find slope. Write function as f of x and take the derivative. f of x equals x squared, so f prime of x equals 2x. On x coordinate given, 2, to find the, the derivative. f prime of 2 equals 2 multiplied by 2, which equals 4. f prime equals 4, so that means that m, the slope, equals 4 also. Now, you plug in the slope to a point slope formula, which gives you y minus 4 equals 4 times x minus 2. To simplify, just multiply them together, and that will get you y equals 4x minus 4. That is the tangent line. Here's another example on how to find the equation of tangents. Find the tangent line at 1, 1 on f of x equals 2x over x plus 1. To find the derivative, use the quotient rule. f prime of x equals x plus 1 multiplied by 2 minus 2x times 1 all over x plus 1 squared. Further simplify by multiplying them together to get f prime of x equals 2 over x plus 1 squared. Use the x coordinate of desired point in the derivative. The derivative f prime of x equals 2 over x plus 1 squared. Plug in the 1 from the points that were given in the beginning to get f prime of x equals 2 all over 2 squared. That comes out to 1 half. Use point slope form and substitute. y minus 1 equals 1 half x minus 1. Here's another problem for average rate of change. Find the average rate of change of f of x equals 3x cubed with respect to x over 3, 5. Solve function for both exponents of interval 3, 5. f3 equals 3 times 3 cubed, which comes out to 81. And f of 5 equals 3 times 5 cubed, which comes out to 375. Use the slope of the secant equation Fill with values acquired from the interval. f of 5 minus f of 3 all over f minus 3. That equals 375 minus 81 all over 2, which comes out to 147. The average rate of change is 147. Here's another example for instantaneous rate of change. Estimate instantaneous rate of change of the volume after 5 hours. The amount of, an, of air in a balloon after t hours is given by vt equals t cubed minus 6t squared plus 35. Get the formula for average rate of change. Average rate of change equals vt minus vs all over t minus s. That will equal t cubed minus 6t squared plus 35 minus 10 all over t minus s. Further simplify. Use the calculator then to calculate values of t getting closer to t equals s. Plug this in to your y1 and then make a table of values. Here's some time to do that. They should look approximately like this. The average rate of change appears to approach 15, and so we can estimate the instantaneous rate of change is at t equals 5. Hope you guys had fun learning calculus. Well, if you have any questions, feel free to email Jack Walsh or Barter Bannock on the MainSolve email system.